In this video, I want to talk about the, um, the type of woman, and it's women, uh, adults, that some would call, their, their behaviors fall under narcissistic, some would say histrionic, um, there could be a combination or something else or neither, but it's not a diagnosis as far as the personality disorder or anything, just the behaviors. Personally, I just call it dramatic, <laughs> But there's so much more to it than just being dramatic, of course. So, um, but yeah, the, the, let, let me start off here. It can range. The, this is their appearance. I want to talk about their appearance. And it can range from uh, one extreme to the other on, on a spectrum or a continuum. And, um, but seldom like average. It's going to be an extreme. Okay. Take for instance, you know, and this can involve family. Okay, let's let's say family. Uh, whether it's in-laws or in-law want to be, you know, the ones she wants to be her in-laws, something along this line. And it can be any generation, any age, and uh, you know, as an adult, and any kind of situation. Say, let's let's start off with a family reunion. Okay, it's her family and a family reunion. And, um, you know, the old fashioned kind. Or a family gathering, or holidays, whatever. But it's got a mixture of, you know, the family, in laws, whatever. And she, she comes, shows up dressed in a power suit. Okay. Um, for a family get together, a power suit. And it could be like a baby shower, and she shows up in a power suit. When this is family, this isn't business. Okay, let's say it's a family gathering of a different sort. Say it's you and your husband and his brother or his cousin. Some family member of his. It could be even be an adult son <laughs> from another marriage, something. And she's there. She's that person, that guy's boyfriend life, whatever. And she will show up dressed very provocatively. You know, maybe a really skimpy um, skirt or or shorts or even a shirt dress. Or something that's more sheer uh, that you can see through and with a lot of bling to um, basically point that out that it's kind of sheer. You know, n enough to be that you can wear it in public without getting uh, arrested <laughs> you know public indecency or something but um but barely just barely it could be something extremely tight uh, it could be a combination of all these but it's going to be kind of provocative and uh, and there's behaviors behind that too okay and then now these these can do this in, you know, when it has nothing to do with family, too. It just be in the public. It doesn't, doesn't have to be just family on either side. Um, and how about the one that is like that, no matter who's around? And they dress, um, she dresses, it's a female. She dresses in, she wears something that is very cultural. Now, this happened to me, so I'm not picking on any other culture. Somebody in my own family <laughs> that would wear something that, I don't even know if she knows it's cultural or not, really. Um, but it makes her stand out. And that is something that's very common with all this, is that they want to stand out. They want to be noticed around, you know, more than anybody else. They have to stand out. They have to be that one that people are going to notice, draw attention to themselves. And that's why I say, you know, some people would see it more as a histrionic kind of thing. The, the flair, the drama, the, you know, along that line. Okay. As far as the cultural thing, it's something that was from eons ago that people don't wear anymore, but you can buy it, but it's usually used for some different purpose. And, um, you know, more as decorative or something. Not for a human. And... There's a truck behind the... 
bus behind me and the truck in front of me was doing weird <laughs> trying to get away from for the bus hit me. Oh yeah. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Now that one, I the other ones, you know, they're they can be shocking to you. You know, somebody comes dressed provocatively in front of you know your spouse or your boyfriend or your whatever when they're with, especially like if it's two brothers. You know, I mean, it doesn't matter especially, right? It's, it can be anything. And you get it, and you, you see it, but you can see that in so many different ways, can't you? But still, the, the thing about the cultural thing is kind of a, can be so shocking, too. But the, uh, the provocative thing, you can, you can view that in so many ways, can't you? I had a lot of uh, thoughts on this narcissistic woman. I doubt I'm going to get it in one video, so I'll try to co combine as much as I can. Now, this, this one that's provocative, okay, that she dresses, and I know a lot of people say, well, what is that? You know? <laughs> and it is defined by whomever's in the, the situation can tell. Okay, let's not go there. If somebody shows up in a, you know, where you can practically see everything you shouldn't be seeing, yeah, that might be a little bit provocative, right? So anyway, you have, you have that situation in it's your husband or your boyfriend or whatever sitting next to you and she starts flirting she's she's got a flirty type of behavior also and sometimes they don't but you 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 can make assumptions that she's you know especially if she starts checking out what you have you know like she's obviously checking out everything like if it's at your house and she's checking it out and she's asking questions like that hints at trying to find out how much it's you know people the person their job is worth or their um, you know what they get paid or their home is worth things like this you kind of might start thinking yeah she's looking for a replacement she's looking at how much money I, she could get if she went this way and then they have they know no bounds you know <laughs> no boundaries whatsoever so it doesn't matter if they get jumped from one family member to the next family member if they can, of course. You can also think of it as uh, uh, their attempt to get um, validation, approval, you know, kind of thing from a family member. And they think that the way to do it is um, to look all girly. And they, that's how they would see it. And, um, you know, to, 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 then they, they turn to this, this of, um, you know, seeing the men as they are the only voices of authority in the world. You know, and it, the, you, the woman, sitting there, you know, whatever you says, say, doesn't matter. It's just excused off. Or she even might try to make you look like you are an idiot or try to make you look like um, anything negative in front of the other two men. Okay, but whatever it is, whatever is the situation, she's going to make the man that you're with seem like he, make him think that he's the, he's, he's so wise, he's so worldly wise even, and, you know, even if it's something that she had just previously asked you when you two were alone, or maybe just you and her, and her boyfriend or husband, then she will use that to make your husband or boyfriend look you know, she will ask the same question as if she has to verify what you say. That's how you're going to see it. But he's going to see it as, you know, he's answering something. And, and again, she's trying to make him look, and she, you know, so important. And she, if things that you said, she'll act like, um, like you had never said anything about it. Like she did not know that information, <laughs> you know. She hadn't heard it from you. She hadn't heard it ever. She, a new question. As if it's a new question. It's the same thing. You know, she, it's, it's, it's a game they play. Okay. Now, to play a little bit of a devil's advocate or a flip side, not really even, to my last video, that the video I did about, you know, when somebody taunts someone, in a, a narcissistic type taunts someone in public to uh, get them to, you know, say, respond, and then everybody sees them as crazy. And as I mentioned in this, you know, that some people think they have some kind of right to decide if you deserve a relationship or not. Well, that's when they're they're being wrong. <laughs> that's when they're they're judging who's the narcissistic one as 
they got the wrong one, you know, because the other one taunted, you know, that not narcissistic, but crazy, but, you know, taunted the other, the narcissistic one taunted the other one to make them look crazy, and then the people involved will look at the crazy one that they think is crazy, and make a judgment that that person doesn't deserve that relationship. Well, in this situation, when you, you know this person is narcissistic by what they're doing, not taunts, but what they're doing, what they're saying, how they're behaving, and it's your in you know your in law or your brother it could be even your brother your whatever and yeah i think that's when we do start to judge and say that person does not need to be with this other person you know my brother or in law or whatever he doesn't need to be with this woman because she is narcissistic and she is out to ruin him she's out to get his money she's you know whatever it is that you can you get that feel for. Now we do that, don't we? You really think about it and question yourself. Is it right or wrong? Is it, you know, really the flip side or is it the same thing or what? Me personally, I think, you know, sometimes the, the person that's in your, uh, you know, that you know is not the one needs a in little intervention, but we all know it can be dangerous. We all know that. Anyway, I'll make another video on the rest of it because this is about to get long.